Pyrolex, a company that currently owns a facility on the north side of Terre Haute, is looking to expand. And now efforts to expand are one step closer. It follows a vote by the city's Economic Development Commission. Demetrius Sanders was at today's public hearing about the project. He joins us now with what this expansion could bring to the area. Demetrius. Mike Sadie, Paralix opened their current facility just months ago, but they are already looking for expansion opportunities. And this evening, the company called on the city of Terre Haute for some help in what is expected to bring more jobs to the area. Paralix, a German manufacturing company, is considered a leader in turning old tires into raw materials. We take end-of-life tires, so uh, tire shred is a feedstock, and we process that into uh, Mostly carbon black. Paralix currently has a facility in the Fort Harrison Business Park in Terre Haute, a project that has created 35 jobs so far, with another 20 expected in January. Red says his company is looking to build a second facility, which will bring more employment opportunities to the city. We'll be adding approximately 50 jobs to our facility, and uh, with total uh, annual payroll of approximately $2.5 million per year. A second facility is estimated to cost $52 million to construct. To finance this construction, representatives with Paralix went before the Terre Haute EDC to ask for $70 million in economic development solid waste facility revenue bonds. Members of the EDC voted to approve the issuance of the bonds, and officials say the responsibility falls on bond purchasers and not the city. The uh, city just serves as a, a conduit, if you will, for the financing. There's no financial obligation whatsoever to the city of Terre Haute, city taxpayers. And Witt says this process is used as a way for the city to encourage new developments. If we have an opportunity to assist in this way, particularly when there's no uh, financial uh, obligation to the community, we want to take advantage of that and try to uh, encourage new job creation and investment in our community. Both Witt and Red say a similar bond was issued for Parallax for their first facility. Mike. All right, thank you, Demetrius. The bond issuance must be approved by the Terre Haute City Council. They will hear this, about this issue during a January meeting.